OneDrive for Business is your free cloud storage that comes with your Office 365 account. Once you've signed in to portal.office.com, you can access your OneDrive by clicking on the icon here or by clicking the waffle, that's a highly technical term, in the upper left-hand corner and selecting OneDrive. Once you're there, you can use this upload tool to upload files or folders that you want to save from your computer up into OneDrive. If you would rather sync the documents that are currently in your OneDrive, you can click this sync button. You're going to see something like this. If you do not see this message that pops up and asks if you want to open Microsoft OneDrive, then you might need to click this link that says get the latest version of OneDrive and it will install this application on your computer. Once you run it and you hit the sync button again, you'll get this option. I go ahead and click open Microsoft OneDrive. If it's the first time you've done that, it's going to prompt you to sign in to your work or school account. Be sure you select that one. Sign in with your email address and your Office 365 password. And then this is the part that makes this so great. This sync tool actually allows you to pick which files and folders that are currently sitting in your OneDrive you would like to sync down to your computer. If the purpose of this is to back up files from your computer to OneDrive, you don't actually need to make any selections here. Just go ahead and click Start Sync. If you would like to sync current content from your OneDrive to your computer, make the selection and click Start Sync now. Once the files are successfully synced to your computer, you will have access to them in the Windows Explorer window on the left where it says OneDrive Eagle Mountain Saginaw. Now that that's here, if you have documents saved into your documents, your pictures, your videos folder, your desktop, or any other location on your computer, you can simply drag and drop them into this file location, let it sync up, and then you'll have a backed up copy.